Hello, I'm introducing this book today. It's by Richard Josephson, myself. I'll tell you a little bit about myself and then I'll tell you a little bit about this book here. I was a monk for 10 years, a fully ordained bhikshu under the Manchurian Chan Master, Xuan Hua, and I lived and practiced in a monastery and received my formal training there. And after the monastery, I continued on to Nepal and India for another 15 years and did practice. There I disrobed, got married, raised a family, and began a very different life. And then I went on back to the monastery again, where I am now. In fact, I'm filming this from the City of 10,000 Buddha's Library in a little off room. And this book here that I'm introducing, Day by Day Buddhist, is about a selection of thoughts that I've had over the last 15 years on the suggestion of a dear friend, Janine Angelique, <clears throat> to write a thought down every day. So about 20 years ago, I began that practice. And I continued for 15 years. And I pretty much, in that 15 years, said pretty much everything I had to say. <clears throat> and so I decided one day, upon the suge suggestion of a friend, to organize all the thoughts and put them in a book. So, of course, over 15 years there were quite a few thoughts, close to, you know, six, seven thousand of them, too many for what I wanted to do. And many of them were redundant, you know, same thoughts every day. So, with the help of Yeshi Dorma, a editor I met in Dharamsala, I worked to organize all the thoughts and reduce them into a, a single short volume of 140 pages. And in this book <coughs> contains not just advice, advice for meditators, but advice for anyone who wants to live a stress-free, less stressful life, let's say, and be happier. Everybody likes to be happy. It's the common denominator of living beings. So this book is divided into eight chapters, as you can see. Beginnings, daily practice, enlightenment, karma, emotions, and thoughts, Meditation, Phenomena, Questions and Sangha, and a section on Teachers and Teachings. So it covers a wide variety of topics, and a lot of it's to do with how to begin a meditation practice, how to organize one's life so that it's easy to practice, that one can do it without any uh, being encumbered or feel any hardship from it and enjoy it. The main thing is to enjoy practicing the Dharma. So that's what this book's about. And if you read it, I know that you will enjoy it and you'll probably get quite a bit out of it and want to pass it on to friends. So please be my guest. <coughs>